tell me the circumstances, maybe some things that happened. You don't have to give me details. Mm. You know, some things that happened and how you felt, yes. Well, I mean, I'll be honest about the fact that um, I went through a divorce. Yeah. And it resulted in me being in the press a lot. So it was a well publicized it was divorce. Very publicized. Okay. Wow. So and um, and that left me feeling very alone. I withdrew from society. Wow. I was really ashamed of my situation. You, you were ashamed of yourself. You I ashamed. felt ashamed not just for myself you, and you, for you what lost had happened. Self esteem. Self esteem was affected, but also I'm very legacy is very important to me. So I was ashamed of what I had done to my family name, or what I felt I had done. And as a result, I literally went into hiding. Wow. But... What does hiding mean? I didn't want to interact with anyone. I wanted to stay in my own space, stay at home. Did you go to work? You stopped going to work? I found it very difficult to work. Wow. It was very hard. You, you began know? to um, lose focus. Not, not just lose focus, lose um, motivation. Wow. Lose the incentive to even get up in the morning. Wow. What am I getting up for? Everyone already feels a certain way about me. And so on. And you did, know, did you feel suicidal at any point? No, 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 no. Not no, no suicidal. You no, just did not get to that extent. Just, I didn't get to that extent. Oh, you didn't get I to the extent felt... of the pro prophet Elijah, because in no. verse nineteen, prophet Elijah said, kill, in verse four, he said, "Kill me now." Yeah. And, and and many of you are laughing, but this is why I'm teaching it because you'll be surprised that your friend that killed himself, if he heard this message, would have not killed himself. When I started to lose work, as a result of it, that's when it really started to get to me. I mean. Um, as a man, your work is your identity. And I started to lose opportunities. I started to lose business deals. So it became a real problem for me. Wow. Um, but uh, that's where I made a decision. I literally had to make a decision for my own survival because I was living in hopelessness. How long did this go on for? Uh, weeks. It went on for weeks. I, I can't actually tell you how long. Weeks, I'm not months. sure. Yeah, it went on for, for a while. Up to I, a year. I was I was out of the loop for a whole year. You I were... left. I checked out of life for a year. My God. To regroup, and realize that you know I was in a very dark space. I was in a hole, but I needed to get out of it. You see, that, that's what I'm saying. That see, this thing, this might be the most powerful message. If you think maybe I'll come this Sunday, I'll not come next Sunday, you're doing yourself injustice. Because a lot of us, you will wonder, how come I'm not fighting in business? And the reason why is that your soul is defeated and crushed and your passion is gone. You will think you don't like ministry again. You love ministry, but you've been crushed. And so you, have, you are not motivated to do something. What was your lowest time when you were depressed? Did you cry? Um, Did you cry? Oh, wow. I, I was on the floor. You know, um, I just... Could you sleep sometimes? No, no, sleep. What sleep? I didn't even know what that was. You know, I had insomnia. I had... Um, I was paranoid as well. So the, the, the few chances that I did get to go out, I had created a scenario in my own mind that everybody knows, everybody's talking about me, people are looking at me, and that would just send me back straight into my own home. Wow. So, um, yes, yeah, so that feeling of hopelessness and, and the noise that was going on around me, even though I was in silence, wow. was, was insane. Wow. How did you come out of this? That's where it gets interesting. Um, like I said, I made a choice. I decided that I didn't want to stay in this space. I, um, no, actually. I, I did research. That's what I did. You did research? I researched So you never blamed yourself? You this. never blamed your partner? No, what never, I did was... Yeah the top of the list of the research that I did was accountability. So I took the blame on so myself. So you blamed yourself? Yes. Yeah, that we, we, 100%. And, and that makes you feel worse and guilty, right? It made me feel worse at first. Yeah. Actually. Until you first. began to do something about it. Exactly. Thank you. And Thank I began you. to take practical steps. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for sharing that.